Brain tech, yeah? Where tech is made simple. The Microsoft Edge web browser has a feature called Efficiency Mode, as many of you may know, which is found in the Settings menu under System and Performance, Optimized Performance. Efficiency Mode helps extend battery life by saving computer resources. Now, in regards to the Efficiency Mode, um, as I did post on earlier this month on the 3rd of October, Microsoft rolled out version 106, which is the latest release of Edge. And as I did mention in that previous video, which I will leave a link to in the description, version 106 um, didn't have too many new features and was mainly a security update. Um, now, although it didn't receive uh, too many new features initially, um, Microsoft has recently announced that um, in version 106, they will be making changes and bringing more options and improvements um, to efficiency mode in the stable version of Microsoft Edge, which they will um, start rolling out um, using a controlled rollout and, a, and that will be a server-side update, which means if you are like me and have not seen the feature yet, I haven't seen it yet on both my devices um, in my region, then that means we will be getting the new improvements for efficiency, if efficiency mode in the stable version rollout over the next coming days and or weeks. Now, um, although I cannot show you what these new improvements look like uh, in the stable version because I haven't received them yet, if we head over to um, Edge Canary, which is the preview version, this is what the new efficiency mode will look like, and these will be the improvements that will appear here in the stable version when Microsoft rolls that out to your browser if you haven't received it already. Now, I have posted on the new efficiency mode improvements and options um, when Microsoft did make those available in Edge Canary. Um, but just to do a quick recap, um, efficiency mode is turned on by default. You will obviously have the option to turn it off. But when uh, turned on, you get uh, two, um, you get two um, savings, balanced savings and maximum savings. Balanced is the recommended and is enabled by default. And it says in the description, helps extend battery life by saving computer resources when your device is unplugged or on low battery. When device is unplugged, moderate steps are taken to save battery. You should experience no or minor slowdowns when you browse. On low battery, additional steps are taken to save battery. You might experience some visible slowdowns when you browse. And Microsoft does mention um, you will know when efficiency mode is taking these additional steps when the hot pulse icon, um, which is the performance button, um, appears um, in the toolbar in the top right of your browser. So that's when you'll know that efficiency mode is taking those different steps to help save power. Now, if we head over to maximum savings, um, it says in the description, use maximum savings when you can't be connected to power for an extended period and need to conserve more battery life. When device is unplugged or on low battery, additional steps are taken to save battery. And again, they say you may experience some visible slowdowns when you browse. And then they have a new option here. Turn on efficiency mode when connected to power. Now, this is actually toggled off by default. I have it turned on because um, I have my, my laptop plugged in. It says when your device is connected to power, we'll turn on efficiency mode to help improve your device's power consumption. You may once again experience no or some slowdowns when you browse. So just take note of that. And that's the new efficiency mode um, options and improvements, um, which Microsoft will be bringing if, if, as I've mentioned already, you haven't received them already, which will show up here under Optimized Performance. And uh, um, just to mention one thing here, which is quite interesting, Microsoft has um, mentioned that the original efficiency mode, which is this one, extends battery life by an average of 25 minutes. And then the new one, when it does roll out to your browser, um, um, should extend battery life even further, according to Microsoft. And that's according to Microsoft and letting you know that if you haven't seen these new improvements yet, they will be made available, I'm sure, sooner than later in your stable version of Microsoft Edge. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.